Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Dave here from the Bear Pit TV and today I'm going to be previewing this Sunday's game against West Ham United. It's the final one of the Premier League season um, for both teams and to be honest, it's still all to play for for both teams. Um, I mean, the last couple of performances that we've been having, um, you could think that we've been thinking maybe we're on the beach, uh, we want the season to end, but we have got a little bit to play for still. Um, we've still got that chance of getting that ninth place for three years running, which is a fantastic achievement if we can do it, um, especially with the season that we've had with all the injuries. To finish ninth isn't, isn't exactly bad. Um, I know I've seen a lot of Stoke fans not particularly moaning, but not being particularly happy about what how we've been playing. Uh, but if you look at the grand scheme of things, all the injuries, to finish ninth um, would be a really decent finish and it would it'd be really good. It'd be something we'd have aimed for anyway. Uh, to either equal or beat last season um, and if we do that we'd equal last season's finish by finishing ninth as well so it wouldn't be too bad if we did do that and now to do that we need Leicester to get three points at Chelsea and then we need to go and beat Sunday's opponents West Ham who will also be looking at Europe um, in the closed season maybe uh, if they can pick up three points at the Britannia uh, they can be looking towards sixth maybe fifth um, position depending on how Manchester United do uh, at home to Bournemouth so it, it's a massive game for them um, but also quite a big game for us because we'd like to get a more respectable position um, in the league we don't want to be finishing 11th I think if we finish bottom half um, it'd be quite harsh to how uh, we've been doing this season especially with the injuries as well and I think ninth would be a fantastic finish if we can achieve that uh, but some stats that I've found regarding West Ham and Stoke. Uh, West Ham are unbeaten in their last five away fixtures in the Premier League. They've won two and drawn three. But the main key factor from this stat that I found is that uh, they've scored at least two goals in every one of those matches. So that could be a big problem. We know how good West Ham's attacking play is, orchestrated by Manuel Lanzini and Dimitri Payet. So we know just how good they can be going forward. Players like Moses as well that we know all too well. Um, so they're going to be a threat going forward. They've got big Andy Carroll up front, Diafra Sacco, the two big strikers. Um, they'll be pumping a lot of balls into the box. So our defence need to need to figure out how to stop them, especially Andy Carroll, because he can always be a handful. Um, so you never know what he's going to do. Uh, but they have only won one of their last six away final day fixtures, uh, though. So even though they are doing really well away, they don't particularly do well away on the final day of the season. They've won one, drawn one and lost four. So that does give us a bit of positivity going into this one. Uh, but another negative stat for us, if we don't win, it's been the longest we've gone without a home win since September 2012, uh, which would be five games. So five home games without a win. September 2012 so that's the longest we've gone that wouldn't be very good to end the season now would it uh, and especially going into next season we we don't want to be going off the back of really bad form we want to try and win on the last day uh, to give us a bit of positivity going into the summer uh, but in terms of teams we haven't got that much injury news the standard players who have been out for ages uh, Shea Given and Glenn Johnson could make it back um, I don't know whether I'd risk both of them, maybe put Given in, but Glenn Johnson, maybe not, because Bardsley's been playing pretty well um, when he's filled in, so I'll probably stick with him at right back, but maybe stick Shea Given. So my team I would go for, I'll go Given, Bardsley, Shaw, Cross, Cameron, Peters, um, leave Walshide on the bench, because I feel Cameron's doing really well and Hughes isn't going to drop Shaw, Cross, so... Um, Stick with that. Whelan, Imbula, Arnie, uh, Charlie Adam if he can play, uh, Shakiri and John Walters up front. There was a shout for Bojan, but I couldn't really fit him in because of how well Charlie Adam played at Crystal Palace. So um, I'm going to keep him in there um, against West Ham because we need a bit of a bit of bite um, in the midfield. So I'll stick Charlie Adam in there and put John Walters up front because you know what you're going to get with John Walters. Um, and he will, fight, he will fight for the team to the end. So if you get the right circumstances in this game as well, if we're winning um, sort of last 10 minutes, I would look to bring some youngsters in maybe. Maybe Joel Taylor um, won the under-21s award on Thursday night or Oli Shenton, Moha, players like that. Give them a run out. It's the last day of the season. If we're in the right circumstances, of course. Um, but if we are, give them a chance and see what they can do. And then maybe next season they can become regulars in the team. We don't know. 
Uh, but West Ham have got pretty much a full squad, apart from Adrian, who's been out for a bit uh, with an injury. So they'll be coming here full strength pretty much, um, as they've been doing all season. But overall, it is going to be a really tough game because West Ham have had a fantastic season. They're a brilliant team. Um, and Bilic has done a fantastic job. So they'll be coming. They want to get Europe. They'll be attacking us. Uh, and we've just got to find a way to stop that. And I think if we can, we could pick up three points. And that's what I'm going to go for. I'm going to be optimistic. I'm going to go with a 2-1 Stoke City win with Marco Arnautovic to get two uh, because of how well he's been playing this season. So I'm going to go 2-1 Stoke win. Let me know your teams and predictions in the comments down below because uh, I'm interested to see what you guys think about this Sunday's game, the final game of the season. So, as always, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and cheers for watching. To it, we've got the first story. This is coming from literally everywhere uh, today because it, it it's sort of a story that isn't too like um, hidden away. It's sort of well known by a lot of people. That's happened today at training. Uh, Stephen Island has unfortunately broken his leg.